New Mexico, the land of enchantment, is made of diverse aquatic habitats. From high mountain streams to lowland river valleys, freshwater lakes to playa lakes, to ephemeral streams and salty sinkholes. This habitat diversity makes New Mexico home to approximately 66 native fish species, like these Rio Grande silvery minnow. Unlike many of our fish biologists, few people have the opportunity to see many of our native fish. Just like this Sonora sucker, each fish has a place and a purpose within our five major river basins. And while each fish belongs, 14 New Mexico fish are struggling for existence and are now threatened or endangered, just like this endangered loach minnow. That is about 21% of our native fishes. It's time we introduce our stewards to our native fish. We are introducing students, our future stewards, to Native Fish of New Mexico with the help of the Native Fish in the Classroom program, NFIC. For the past seven years, biologists have used the program to allow students to see our Native Fish up close and personal. Students learn about their life history, their needs, and how they can help our Native Fish persist into the future. Two of our five river basins are now represented with the Native Fish in the Classroom program the Rio Grande, and the Gila River. Eleven schools participated in the NFIC program during the 2017-2018 school year, with approximately 481 students, ranging from kindergarten to seventh grade, our seventh year was one to remember. Each year begins with an introduction of the NFIC program to the students. Biologists emphasize that the care of the incoming fish will be their responsibility. Once students agree to take on the task, they sign a pledge accepting their role as stewards. Students learn the ins and outs of their new aquarium system, the halfway home for their native fish. Students also learn about the nitrogen cycle and its role in their aquarium, in addition to testing methods to monitor their water quality. As a team, the class designs a background for their aquariums to help make their fish feel at home. And last but not least, they learn necessary maintenance tasks such as siphoning and water changes. Biologists are met at the door with students eagerly awaiting the arrival of their new charges, asking, Did you bring them? Once students have finished with all of their preparation, it's finally time to bring in the fish. Some classes receive Rio Grande Cutthroat Trout, the state fish of New Mexico, and a species of concern. These fingerlings are provided by the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish Seven Springs Hatchery. Other classes receive small fishes of the Rio Grande. Students have the chance to learn about seven different fish species which all coexist with our endangered silvery minnow. These fish are collected with the aid of high school students from Bosque School, who have the opportunity to learn fish survey methods used on the Rio Grande. And most recently, our threatened Gila trout have made it into the classrooms. With the help of Mora National Fish Hatchery and the U.S. Forest Service, schools within the Gila River Basin have a chance to work with this native trout, and even hatched a couple hundred eggs. Teachers use guides filled with background information and activities throughout their time with the fish. And although we have a guide, teachers often show off their creativity and come up with additional projects of their own design for their students. When biologists get the opportunity, they visit the classroom for special presentations. And although biologists have fun with students figuring out the population for our pinto fish, Frijole pintoi, that live in Frijole Canyon, we have to admit the students get far more excited about fish anatomy.
After several months with the students, it's time for our fish to go home. Students write a goodbye poem to their fish. Poems are chosen to be read along the shore during one of our many NFIC field days. Just be a fish in a glass tank. I was cramped up, wanna be free. I was dreaming of big rivers. And I wanna leave my old tank behind. Not a rainbow, I'm a cutthroat. In a class in a tent, and swimming around. Oh, 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 I want a river. I was taking for the river, 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 <laughs> river, feel the water, water in the river, river, feel the water, water in the river, 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 and that's it. <laughs> Usually every fish is released back to the river. This year was different. For the first time, San Antonio elementary students were unable to release their fish. Instead of releasing their fish into the Rio Grande, they handed them over to the visitor center at Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge and said their goodbyes. Greetings. First I said hi, now I said bye. As your steward, I will cry as I have to say goodbye. I'm sure you're wondering why these students couldn't release their fish. The answer is simple. Their section of the Rio Grande was dry. Long no stay. I know you are sick and I hope you don't die. And now we say goodbye. White sucker, you would stay at the bar and feed away fast. Master mosquito, I like you with all your terminal mouth. I hope you don't die because the river is dry. So try not to die because the river is dry by a brown. The students have now said their farewells. The NFIC program is coming to an end for the school year. Now students wrap up their time at the river, visiting various learning stations led by our partners to learn more about other aspects of the landscape. The release of fish is the culmination of the NFIC program. The students now know the river where their fish will live out their days. Thank you to all our NFIC Field Day host sites. Thank you to all those who provided resources such as funding for buses, equipment, and fish. And last but not least, thank you to all who helped make our NFIC Field Days memorable.